Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Okay, welcome back uh, to this uh, analysis of conformations of cyclic systems. Okay. So, we have just completed the analysis of cyclopropane and we have seen the concept of banana bond and then the concept of unequal hybridization. Okay. Now, we will go to the next higher homologue of cyclopropane and that is cyclobutane. Now, as I said in cyclobutane if it is planar if it is flat molecule then what happens it suffers from angle strain it also suffers from what is called the torsional strain because the adjacent bonds are eclipsing each other okay i put two red balls here just to show it in a better fashion so they are eclipsing each other now the question is in order to reduce the torsional strain what this molecule has to do this molecule may push these two carbons upwards you see now, these two red balls are no longer eclipsing each other. So, if, as I move these two, so that will happen with all the adjacent atoms, but just we are specifically concentrating on this uh, red balls. So, so, if you move it upwards, they now suffer from less torsional strain. Okay. Again, I repeat, if they are planar, then it has torsional strain, then are eclipsing each other. If you push it upwards, then the torsional strain decreases but at the expense of increase in angle strain the angle strain increases angle strain increases because these angles decreased while you try to push it upwards so question is which is the better option to reduce the angle strain uh, to maintain the angle strain whatever it was there uh, or to increase it or at the expense of the torsional strain which is decreasing and what happens ultimately it was found that cyclobutane likes to reduce the torsional strain. So, it gains more by reducing the torsional strain uh, at the expense of increasing the angle strain and it it actually actually uh, takes a shape like this a propeller kind of shape. So, in the I can I can show it in the board. So, it takes a shape which looks like this. So, this is what is cyclobutane. So, this is no longer flat, this is a Packard molecule. Packard means again I tell Packard is non planar molecule. Okay. So, here why it adopts a Packard form because this reduces the torsional strain. Although the angle strain is increased slightly. But overall, it gains more by reducing the torsional energy uh, at the expense of increasing the angle strain. So, this is the shape of the cyclobutane. So, how much puckering is taking place? So, that depends on that what is the angle between the plane containing suppose this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So, the plane containing C 1, C 2, C 3. So, this is a plane and the other plane is sorry C 1 maybe you can consider in this fashion that will be better C 1 C 4 C 1 C 4 C 3 that is okay. C 1 C 4 C 3 that is one plane or C 1 C 2 C 4 no the better is C 1 C 2 C 4. 
So, C1, C2, C4 that means these three carbons we should write it in a continuous way. So, that should become C2, C1, C4. So, it is this one. So, C2, C1, C4 that makes a plane like this and then C4, C3, C2, C4, C3, C2. So, these two planes deviate, these two planes are no longer in the same plane. So, there is an angle between them and the angle is, so if you have this plane and extend it backwards and if you have this plane extend it backwards, so there is an angle that is generated here. This angle is about 35 degrees. So, the amount of puckering is about 35 degrees. If I take the model that will make it clear. So, this is what is the shape. So, the amount of puckering is you take this plane and take this plane and then the angle between the between this. So, you extend this plane backwards. So, there is an angle between these two planes which is about 35 degree. So, the amount of puckering is 35 degree. Okay. Now, the interesting point is while doing so, now you have these two look at these two bonds. This is a bond which will be almost pointing upwards and the other bond other two bonds at C 1 and C 3 will be pointing towards this direction. So, they are, so if you take an axis like this, see this molecule will have a, will have a C 2 axis that goes through here, because if you turn it, so this will come here that will go there. So, it will have a C 2 axis provided these substituents are all same. So, these bonds are parallel to the C 2 axis and they are called axial. They are coaxial with the C 2 axis and they are, they are axial and these are equatorial bonds in case of cyclobutane. Okay. So, what we learn from cyclobutane that it is no longer. So, the deviation from planarity starts right from the four membered system. There is no way that again I repeat three membered system it is a triangle, triangle has to be planar. So, no question of deviation from planarity, but whenever an opportunity came for these systems, it immediately started to adopt non-planar, non-planarity and the reason for adopting non-planarity comes from the fact that that reduces the torsional strain. Okay. So, no longer the angle strain is the dominant factor, yeah. the torsional strain becomes more and more dominant. Okay. As the angle strain decreases, the torsional strain becomes more and more dominant. Okay. In cyclopropane nobody bothers about torsional strain because the angle strain is very high. In cyclobutane now you have to bother because the angle strain is not that high. So, torsional strain or becomes the dominant factor uh, to adopt a conformation which has got less energy. Okay. So, this is the conformation of cyclobutane. Okay. Now, if this is the conformation then you see that these if there is an atom here and if there is an atom there. So, now they are quite close to each other. So, there may be steric interaction between between these bonds if this see if these are occupied by methyl suppose. Suppose there is a methyl here methyl means very big. So, there is a hydrogen like that and this carbon there is a hydrogen. So, now there will be clash between these hydrogens. So, you can compare now the relative stability of say cis and trans. So, this is the geometry. See other another interesting point is that it, it is not fixed in this geometry that is these two carbon atoms are lying in a plane which are below the plane containing these two carbon atoms but that is not fixed. What happens this carbon 4 and carbon 2 can go up and C 3 and C 1 can come down. That means, this is one conformation it immediately goes to the other conformation. So, that happens and the energy barrier for these two is, is not very much. So, this happens uh, at the room temperature. So, these two conformations equilibrium between each other. Okay. 
So, that is an important point that this is not the only confirmation. So, you can have a kind of this is called flipping. So, you can flip this bring this 4 up 2 up and bring this C 3 down and C 1 down. Okay. So, we have identified this flipping we have identified what are called the axial bonds and the equatorial bonds. Now, let us try to compare or try to draw different derivatives of cyclobutane. Suppose, I like to draw cis 1 3 cis 1 3 dicarboxylate or you can say actually the proper nomenclature is suppose dimethyl cis 1 3 cyclobutane dicarboxylate okay, that is the correct nomenclature. Okay. So, that means what I have I have a cyclobutane first of all. So, write the cyclobutane this is cyclobutane and now it says cis 1 3 cyclobutane cis. Now, what does cis means here? cis and trans in case of cyclic systems uh, comes from the it's it's different from the cis and trans in case of double bonds in case of double bonds if they are opposite to each other we call them trans and later on this is modified to e and z okay in case of cyclic systems it is basically that whether the bonds are above the average plane of the molecule average plane means there is the I can see two planes one is this one and another plane containing containing these two carbons okay. and there is a plane which contains these two carbons. So, the average plane is somewhere in between if you consider the average if you consider suppose this the top plane. So, if I take the top plane I see that this bond is above the plane of the, above that plane and this bond is below that plane this bond is above this bond is below. So, something above we already know that how to have to designate that that is called a beta bond right. So, this will be in addition to axial this will be a beta bond because it is above the plane containing the C 1 C 3 and this is also then beta because this is above that plane and this is alpha and this is alpha. So, when I call something cis that means, I have to put the groups first of all 1 3. So, there are two ester groups ester groups are CO 2 Me because dimethyl dicarboxylate CO 2 Me. So, what will happen now? The question is where to put suppose this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4. So, so where to put these groups? These two groups are such that they are cis to each other. Now, there are two ways to put the cis one is I can put the CO 2 Me here and CO 2 Me there that is one possibility. The other possibility is that I can put one here and another there. Okay. Now, out of these two obviously, this will be unstable because as I said that if you put bigger groups here at the axial position. So, there will be interaction between these two and which will be called 1 3 diaxial interaction. This will be more clear when you go to cyclohexane system, but this 1 3 diaxial interaction starts from cyclobutane itself. So, due to this 1 3 diaxial interaction this molecule will adopt this conformation. Okay. In case of trans you do not have any option one has to be axial and the other has to be equatorial. So, trans do not have any option one has to be axial one has to be equatorial. So, this is the cis compound and if I want to draw the trans compound and I can also tell about their stability the trans compound is this one has to be axial and the other will be equatorial. So, this is the 
trans compound. Why it is trans? Because this is beta and this is alpha. Okay. So, that is the uh, different derivatives and the stability. So, which one is more stable? Obviously, this one is more stable because in, in this case one of the CO 2 m is occupying an axial position. So, this is more stable than the other one okay. and these are all experimentally verified and that suggests that yes really cyclobutane. Otherwise, if you think it is a flat molecule, it will be difficult to explain the difference in stability of the substituted di substituted cyclobutanes. Okay. So, from the stability concepts, stability measurements of different di substituted cyclobutanes, it was proven that yes, it is uh, really exists in the Packard conformation. Now, let us come to cyclopentane. So, that is cyclobutane, let us come to cyclopentane. In case of cyclopentane, as I said the angle strain is almost 0, close to 0, because this is if it is a flat system. So, this is uh, 108 degrees and the actual angle is 109.5. So, it is almost 0 angle strain, but it does not stay in the planar form simply because as I said that if it is a flat molecule, then it suffers from what is called the torsional strain these bonds are adjacent bonds are eclipsing each other. So, it will now try to rotate, so that this eclipsing interactions or the torsional strain decreases and, and that is what happens in cyclopropane. So, in cyclopropane what happens is that one of the atom if you take it up, it actually adopts two types of geometries, one is what is called an envelope geometry one is called an envelope geometry. See envelope is basically four carbon atoms are in the plane. I hope you can see it. Four carbon atoms are in the plane and one carbon is up. So, this is like an envelope. So, we can draw this. So, this is the flap of the envelope. So, this is what is called envelope conformation. And it also can adopt another conformation where there is also uh, less angle strain, and that is what is called half chair conformation. Half chair conformation is such that three carbon atoms are in the plane, one carbon is above that plane, and the fifth carbon is below that plane. So, again, I repeat what is the half chair form? In the half chair form, Suppose these three carbon atoms are in the plane. So, one carbon goes up and other carbon goes down, but these three carbons remain in the plane. So, that is the half chair conformation. And how do you how do you draw it the half chair? The half chair we draw it this way. So, this is the half chair. So, what I am saying that these three carbon atoms carbon atoms are in a plane, one carbon goes up and another carbon is below the plane of the paper. So, this is what is called half chair conformation. One interesting aspect very similar to cyclobutane is that this envelope conformation where there are four carbon atoms that are in the plane, it does it here also the carbon which is at the at the flap of the envelope, the topmost corner, the topmost point of the flap, there is a carbon. Uh, it also fluctuates that means, this carbon is now at the top at the flap, the next time this carbon will go up and that carbon will come down and will make all the four carbon these four carbon atoms like if this is one, two, three, 4, 5. So, this is one envelope conformation, but it equilibrates between another envelope conformation in which this one goes down and two goes up. Okay. One goes down to up to certain level, so that one then 5, 4 and 3 are in the same plane. So, another envelope conformation, then, then 2 goes down and then 3 goes up. 
then 4 goes down and 4 goes down and 5 goes up. So, basically what I am saying that this is not fixed, this goes down and then the other remains in the in the plane and one of these uh, atom will go up. So, that means this flap position is not fixed, it is continuously fluctuating between all these 5 atoms. Same is true here that suppose this is your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what happens here also the this 5 carbon will go down and then one of this 1 carbon will go up. Okay. Then the next time C 2 will go up and C 3 will go down. So, that continuously. So, there is no fixed carbon atom which is occupying the flap position or which is occupying this top position or the bottom position. So, this is continuously happening in the molecule. I can show it in the in this. So, what I am saying in the envelope form that this is at the top now, but this goes down and this goes up. So, now what else you have a new envelope. So, where this is up and then this goes down and this goes up. So, you have another new envelope. So, this is what is happening continuously in the system. So, also in the half chair and this process is what is called pseudo rotation. This is what is called pseudo rotation. Okay, pseudo rotation. So, these are the uh, we will not go any uh, further with cyclo uh, cyclopentan, but you should remember that this is uh, this adopts again a Packard conformation. Why? Because there is uh, by doing that uh, it does not uh, it reduces the torsional strain and anyway in this case the angle strain is almost 0. If it adopts Packard conformation the angle strain is nearly 0. It was it is to start with it was almost 0 and even if it adopts Packard conformation that is also 0. So, uh, unlike cyclobutane where Packarding leads to increase in angle strain here that does not happen. Angle strain remains almost 0 because you can see it is it is so flexible I can I can immediately rotate it very easily, but that I cannot do for cyclobutane it is it is still more rigid. Okay. So, uh, the flexibility tells you that actually there is no angle strain here, uh, but you can easily make up and down of this carbons. Okay. So, that is uh, so it, it, it is having this pseudo rotation and it is having a Packard conformation and the, the reason for having Packard conformation is that to reduce the torsional strain. To reduce the torsional strain. Okay. So, that is what is all about uh, cyclopropane. You can think over it, this is a, a, a problem for you if you when you go through this lecture that between these two, which one you think is more stable, the, the half chair or the envelope always think of the torsional strain and then you can get the answer that in which case where is the torsional strain more. So, that will be little bit less stable, torsional strain less means more stable. So, as per torsional strain you can come out with an, with an answer of this that which one is more stable envelope or half chair. Although the difference is not much, but still there is energy difference between the two, okay. but that is a, a thought provoking question. I will not give the answer you try to find it out what I said the torsional strain which happens because the eclipsing of the hydrogens between the vicinal carbon atoms. Okay. So, once you uh, calculate that, once you see that in the molecule how many carbons are in the plane you can get the answer. Okay. So, this is all about cyclopropane, cyclobutane and cyclopentane. So, next one is cyclohexane. So, we will start the next lecture uh, from cyclohexane which by the way is the most stable of all the cyclic systems. Okay. Thank you.